now, page 106 of the Affinity Photo Workbook, and we're using the iPad. So some of the things are quite different, uh, similar but different, or as they say, the same but different. Okay, let's start with selections. Now, selections are a powerful way of making change to only specific parts of an image. How often do I see people saying, well, how do I get rid of this one person in this photo? And if the person's between other people, for example, in-painting is not really a good option because in-painting samples the surrounding image and places that where, the, where you're painting out. So you could end up with some rather strange shapes in there. There's a, a wide range of selection tools, but we'll work our way through them. Selection brush tool, flood select tool, marquee selection tool, freehand selection tool, and refine selection. But let's start with creating a selection. So we've got to open the first image, which is the selection brush one, which I already have downloaded. And that's sitting there. Now, there's a bit of a, um, a trap for unwary players. You can be looking up and down for the selection tools on here, the selection brush. And if I hold the question mark down, there's all sorts of things in there. Flood fill, fill tool, paint brush, erase brush. No, I can't see anything that says selection. But you will recall that there's a selection persona. That's up the top there. And it's now showing the selection persona. Now we've opened, according to the book, the selection brush JPD. G, and from the tools panel, select the selection brush tool. Well, it's called something slightly different in this one. It's that one there, smart selection brush tool. Now, there's a bit of a trick in this because the book says, start from the top right to begin creating a selection. The selection brush is velocity based. Moving the cursor more rapidly will increase the snapping tolerance. What that means is it works more quickly. Move the cursor quickly to the left to select the entire sky. Now, if you're using an Apple Pencil, you may find it doesn't work so well on the iPad. And I've discovered that if I use my finger and... You can see, if you're looking at the workbook itself, if you've got that, there's a rather large circle there. Now, that's the width of the selection brush. And on here, you'll see that down the bottom here. And it's set at 2.9 pixels at the moment. Now, we can increase that. You can see in the center of the photo, center of the JPG, that little circle enlarging or not. Now, I've got that set, uh, let's see, 200.8. The circle only appears there when you're actually moving the things. Now, 200.8 is a reasonably large size, but you want to select all the sky at once. Now, the trick is to do this very quickly. If you do it slowly, you will get odd sort of selections here, there, and everywhere. Now, see if you can follow my finger. You'll see the pressure point on the screen. See how quickly I did that? I've got the pixel width set to about 200. I went from the right side to the left side very quickly. Now, if you look closely at that image, you'll see the crawling ants along the top of the building very faintly up the right hand side almost non-existent across the top they're there but you just can't see them the left hand side and the top of the building i'll just leave it crawling away for a moment you can see them pulsing away there on the left hand top of the building that's selected that's creating a selection you've selected the sky how often do you want to change the sky but now here's the trick with this one. We have a white sky. How do you change the color of it? Go to there. 
let's let's select a a nice yellow sky. <laughs> so, how do you make the sky yellow? Nothing's happening. You've got to go back, leaving the ants crawling. Go back to the photo persona. You'll see the crawling ants are still there. The colour is still yellow. We've got flood fill over on the left hand side and there it is there. Brush flood fill is selected. And there it is, a yellow sky. You can really clearly see your selection. Now, of course, you've got a colour wheel. You can change that. Let's, let's go a nice dark blue sky. There we go, dark blue sky. And there it is there. There's no extra layers. It's just changing the selection. Now, of course, you could put anything you like in there. You can cut it out altogether, in fact. Colour wheel, grey sliders. There's a nice grey sky. Still on flood fill. Grey sky. Well, that's all very well. But how do you get rid of the crawling ants? This, this could be a real problem. Go back there. And over here, where the three dots are, deselect. Crawling ants are gone. Now, if I do the question mark, that's the commands bar, the three dots not the document, in the commands bar and in the photo persona, not the selections. No, sorry, I got that back to front, didn't I? It's in the selections persona, not the photo persona, and you deselect the crawling ants. That, it, that, I think, is it for the first one, selection tools and the selection brush tool.